Welcome to the fifth down. I'm Jake Vandenbroek and yes, we are back. I'll be airing highlights, scores and stats all around Northeast Michigan. So without further ado, let's kick things off with our game of the week. Both the Rogers City Hurons and Alcona Tigers had their ups and downs last season, to say the least. The Hurons finished with a three and six record while the Tigers went four and five. Between these two teams, the Hurons have won the past two meetings and we're looking to extend their winning streak to three. Alcona getting all fired up as they looked to contain senior quarterback Isaac Hine. Alcona would capitalize early. They converted on two fourth down conversions, which would set up this touchdown from Gavin Walker. The Chris Barnes off the bootleg. Two point conversion, no good. Six nothing after one. The Hurons tried to get the offense rolling in the second, but Isaac Hines' only mistake of the night was this. His pass gets intercepted by Gavin Walker, which the, the Tigers would get excellent field position. Just under two minutes left in the second. Hine, what is he going to do? Roll left, looking for options. He's going to throw it to the end zone and find Dylan Cook for the touchdown. Two point try, no good. We're tied at six. But on the ensuing kickoff, you want special teams? We got you covered. Jacob Zytek would take this kickoff 83 yards to the house. Goodbye. Alcona would score six more at the half to take an 18-6 lead. But the Hurons would score 12 unanswered to tie this game up at 18, which included this fumble from Hine. But luckily for Roger City, Anthony Paul would recover the fumble and was able to get in for six. But this is the play of the game. Seven seconds left in the game. Hine looking for options. Takes a shot to the end zone. And Matt Newhouse comes away with the game winner. Roger City wins it on a walk off as they defeat Alcona 24 to 18. Well, it's, it's huge. Um, we know we got a tough, tough game, to, you know, against Oscoda next week. And just to get this first win really gives these guys um, confirmation that they, their work is going to pay off. Um, we've been putting them through pretty rough practices and, you know, to get this win, it, it just proves to them that, that they're working hard for a reason and, and uh, I know what's going to carry us through to next week. Now some other 11 man scores for you, starting with Tawas, who was down 20 nothing at one point in this game. They would come all the way back to tie it up at 20, but with losing a heartbreaker in OT, 27-26 was a final score. Johannesburg Lewiston ran all over Mancelona, and the Cardinals came out on top. 47-14 was the final. Sheldon Huff rushed for 242 yards with three scores. And on defense, he finished with 12 tackles and one interception on the night. Huge night for him. Moving on now to the Big North Conference. Alpino Wildcats get shut out by Cadillac, losing 27 to nothing. The Wildcats will return home next week. Now to 11-man game that is taking place on Saturday. The Oscoda Owls will be hosting Waterford and a little afternoon action as that game will kick off at 1 p.m. It's now time to switch gears to eight-man football and we're gonna stay in Presque Isle County. Mylon Posen had strong seasons last year. The Thunderbolts went 9-2 while the Vikings finished with a 6-4 record. But this season, both teams are very young this season. Let's go to Posen. Here we go. Posen on the attack early. Quarterback Chase Doobie takes the snap, and he is going to fake the handoff and keep it to himself for the score. 8-0 Vikings early in this one. Posen went on a 28-0 run to start the game. Back on the Thunderbolts. Nathan Hurts is going to break this one for the score. Miles still trails 28-8. Right back on the gas was posing when Chase Doobie hands it off to A.J. Brunette, who just keeps turning those legs, and he breaks free for the score. All posing in this one early. Right before the half, we got some trickery. Senior Lucas Stone is going to take the direct snap and is going to break this one for a 60-yard run. That would lead to this. Chase Doobie connecting with Stone, this time in the air for six more. It was all posing in this one as they took down mile 52-22. After the game, we spoke to Greg Peach to get his thoughts on his team's performance. Yeah, we'll take it, you know. I mean, our kids, they got out and were extremely competitive tonight, especially that first half. We still have a lot of things to work on, you know, but it, it, it's early and, you know, we have a young team and they're a lot of fun to coach. Up next, the Vikings will travel to Gray Sims next Friday for a meeting with the Wolverines. 
Atlanta taking on Hales. Aaron Cazort is going to hit Trace Jurgens in the air. And he makes a couple men miss for the score. 14 8 Atlanta. The Cazort Jurgens connection was working in this one, but this time we move to the ground. Cazort hands off the Jurgens for the score. Atlanta up 21 to 8. The Eagles would not go away though. Brendan Bernard going to fake the handoff. Find Jess Francisco in the back of the end zone for six. What a battle down in hell as the Huskies hung on to beat the Eagles by a score of 26 to 14. Now to a couple other eight-man scores from Friday night. Ottawa shut out Bel Air, 50 zip. Brendan Fenstermaker led the offense with 70 forwards rushing with a touchdown, while Kevin Pearson had 48 rushing yards with a touchdown. And leading the way for Ottawa on defense was Ian Beal with eight tackles. Hillman rolled over Grace Sims, winning 60 to 12. John Hennigan led the way for the Tigers with 147 yards, along with three touchdowns, while Austin Appledinger led the Tigers defense with 12 tackles and three sacks. We also have one eight-man game that will be taking place on Saturday. Whittemore Prescott will be making their eight-man debut as they host Vermontville Maple Valley. That kickoff is scheduled for 1 p.m. Now that's all we have for the fifth down this week, but now it's time to thank our fifth down sponsors. The fifth down coverage is brought to you in part by Alpena Agency and Auto Owners Insurance. We make insurance easy. Mid-Michigan Health and Rehabilitation Services, the go-to place for recovery after injuries or illness. Plowman's Collision. When the unexpected happens, you want Plowman's Collision. And Wolverine State Credit Union. Live life with us.